Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to handle HTML dropdown field. So let's get started. In Selenium Python, how to handle this HTML dropdown field? First of all, what exactly is this dropdown field and how does it look like? For that, I'll open this browser and show you example guys, okay, of a dropdown field. I'll take you to this page, omea.blogspot.com page or application page, where you can see a lot of web elements that I have created so that you guys can practice Selenium or practice Selenium here, okay? So here, one of the web element we have is a dropdown field. This is what is how, this is how the HTML dropdown field will look like, okay? So in this dropdown field, you can select an option. For example, if you want to select doc3 option in this dropdown field, you can do that, okay? So how to handle the dropdown field means, how to select the options in the dropdown field and other stuff, okay? So let me practically demonstrate now how to handle the HTML dropdown fields using Selenium Python. So, so first we have to create an object for the select class, guys. First we have to create an object for the select class and we have to pass the web element of this dropdown field to this select constructor, okay? There's a predefined class in Selenium Python known as select class for which we have to create the object and while calling this constructor, you have to pass the web element of the dropdown field, okay? Then you'll get an object reference using which you can call all these commands. Let me not explain theoretically, rather let me make it practical so that you can understand all these commands and all the stuff to handle the HTML dropdown fields using Selenium Python. I'll switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Firefox browser for maximizing the browser window and this get command has to open the application URL. So which application URL? I'll give the application URL where this HTML dropdown field is available like this. Okay, I'll give this application URL. So when I run this script, right, it will uh, open this omai.blogspot.com application and uh, you know, that dropdown field is uh, displayed here. Now I want to select an option in this dropdown field. Okay, let's say I want to select doc3 option in this dropdown field. How to do that? For that guys, first we have to create a web element for this dropdown field. Okay, we have to create a web element for this dropdown field. How to create? I'll inspect this dropdown field where I want to, uh, you know, select an option from which it has an ID, guys, you see? Luckily, it has an ID locator. Copy this ID attribute. Here, write down driver.find element by dot ID. Give the ID of that dropdown field, okay? And store this into a web element, guys, okay? That is dropdown, okay? Let's say I'll write like this, drop down field is equal to like this, I'll write. Now, using this uh, web element, where I have to pass this web element, I'll tell you, okay? So in order to perform the, uh, or handle the, handle this dropdown field or perform some operations on this dropdown field, first in Selenium Python, we have to create an object for the select class. Like this, we have to create an object for the select class. It's a predefined class in Selenium Python. And to the select class constructor, we have to pass this dropdown field, okay? We have to pass this dropdown field web element to this select class constructor. Now this select class, Okay, when you create an object like this, it will return you an object reference. I'll store that object reference inside the select. Okay, I'll give the name for the object reference as select. Now using this object reference select, we can perform the operations, different operations on this dropdown field. Okay, we can select an option in the dropdown field because to the select class, we pass which web element dropdown field only. Okay, so whatever the operations you perform with the help of the select class, the operations will be performed on the dropdown field. So I'll simply say, what are the commands we have? What are the commands we have in, uh, you know, Selenium Python, uh, which belong to the select class uh, to select an option from the dropdown field? You see, coming to the commands, there are several commands, but to select an option from the dropdown field, there are three ways. There are three types of commands, guys, okay? Any of this command you can use. Out of these three commands, you can use any of the command. You can either use this command to select an option in the dropdown field. You can use this command to select an option in the dropdown field. You can even use this command also to select an option in the dropdown field. You can use any of these commands. I'll go with the first command, guys. I'll explain, I'll demonstrate each and every command for you and how to use that for selecting the option in the dropdown field. To get started, I'll use the first command, which can be used for selecting the option in the dropdown field with the help of visible text. You see, with the help of the visible text, we are going to select an option in the dropdown field. So uh, using this object reference of the select class, I'll simply call this command that is a select by visible text command. Select dot select by visible text select underscore by underscore visible underscore text command. Okay, it's a predefined command. Okay, so inside this command, we have to provide double quotes and in the double quotes, we have to provide the visible text of the option that you want to select in the dropdown field. You go back here, 
If you expand this, if you open this drop down field, you see, I want to select doc three option. What, what is the visible text here? Doc space three is a visible text. Q doc space three here. That's it. Select dot select by visible text. This will select the doc three option in the drop down field like this. Okay. So just for demonstration purpose, guys, okay, before selecting this option in the drop down field, I'll simply give time dot sleep option for three seconds after loading the page. After Selenium waits for, uh, for the page to load and its application to open in the browser, right? After that, we'll wait for three seconds and then select this uh, doc3 option with the help of the select by visible text command, okay? Now run the script. Just for demo purpose, I gave here so that you can know that which option is there earlier and which option got selected after that. So it will open the Firefox browser now. Then it will maximize the browser. It'll open the application URL. Now observe the drop down field guys. By default, older newsletter is selected, older news. After three seconds, you see doc3 option got selected. With the help of which command we have selected the doc3 option, select by visible text command. Here we have to provide the visible text of the option to select to, uh, to this particular select by visible text command to select that option in the drop down field. Now I am going to show you other ways of selecting the options from the drop down field. The second command is select by index guys. Okay. So instead of using this command that is select by visible text. Select by index I'm going to use, okay? I'm going to use select by index here. Index means in this drop-down field, how many options are there? One, two, three, four, five options are there. I want to select the, let's say doc2 option, okay? I want to select doc2 option. Here, the first option will have the index zero, second option index one, third option index two. If I give index two, it will select the doc2 option, okay? Like that. I'll give index two guys, it will select the doc2 option. The first option, it will start with the index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that, okay? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? Like that, okay? So I'm giving two means uh, here, doc2 option should be selected. Let's run this. Again, the same demo purpose time.sleep is there before selecting this option with the help of index. The older newsletters option will be there by default selected in the route on field. And after three seconds, you see, this command select by index command will select uh, the option that is available in the index 2 that is nothing but the doc2 option. Let's run this and see whether the doc2 option is getting selected in the drop-down field or not with the help of this automation script. Let's switch. It will open the Firefox browser. Then it's going to maximize the browser window. It's going to open the application URL. And you see the older newsletter is there. After three seconds, you see, we change to not changing. So is there any problem here? Is the script still running? Yeah, doc2 option it got changed. Maybe the application was loading at the time. So doc2 got changed, guys. Okay, so it's working fine. Okay, so this is another way of selecting an option from the drop down field, guys. But we have one more way that is select by value. Okay, with the help of the value of that particular option, we can select that option in the drop down field. How to use that? I'm going to show you. Remove this part and simply say dot select dot select by value. Okay. Here, give double quotes and inside the double quotes, you provide the value of that particular option. How to get the value of this particular? For example, I want to select doc4 option. So what is the value of this doc4 option? How to find? Let me inspect this drop-down field. So you see here, we can, we can see the HTML code of this drop-down field, right? When you inspect this, the highlighted thing is the HTML code of the drop-down field. And uh, it has a lot of options here. Option, older newsletter option, or doc1 option, doc2 option, doc3 option, doc4 option. I want to select the doc4 option with the help of the value. Just see, there is a value attribute here, right? For this doc4 option, there is a value attribute here. To this value attribute, what is the value? M and O is the value. Copy this value of this uh, value attribute of this doc4 option and provide that as an input to this uh, select by value command, okay? With the help of this value attributes value, okay, select by value command will select that doc4 option in the drop down field, okay? Run this. It will open the Firefox browser. Then it is going to maximize the browser. Then it's going to open the application URL in the browser. And let the web page load here. The web page is still loading. After loading, you just observe this drop down field. After three seconds, you see doc4 option is getting selected. Okay. With the help of another command that is a select by value command, guys. Now, there are a few more commands that we can use for handling the HTML drop down fields, not for selecting the option, but uh, the purpose is different, guys. Okay. What the purpose is? The next command is is multiple command guys. The next command we have in uh, uh, you know Selenium Python for handling the drop down fields is is multiple. With the help of this command, we can find out how many options we can select in this uh, drop down field, okay, or any other field that you are passing. Uh, for example, here guys on this page we have this multi selection box field. Can you see the multi selection box field? And there's a drop down field also. 
Okay, there is a drop down field where you can only select one option, right? Only one option at a time I can select. I cannot select more than one option at a time. But coming to the multi selection box field with the help of control key, you see I am able to select multiple options. Okay, here I am able to select multiple options in the multi selection box field. So if I pass this uh, drop down field to this uh, is multiple command, it's going to return false. It's not multiple options, right? You can only select one option. But if you pass this multi selection box field to this is multiple, it will return true because in this multi selection box field, you can select multiple options. Now, guys, what I'm going to do here is, you know, what I'm going to do here is open the application URL uh, and then, you know, driver dot find element by dot ID inspect this, inspect this drop down. Already we have inspected the element is there. We have provided that element to the select um, select class and all the stuff. And now using the object reference, I'm going to call that command guys. What is the command dot is multiple command. If I say print of is select dot is multiple. If I say it's correct. Yeah. This is an attribute guys. Okay. It's an attribute actually is multiple. So I should not be writing this as, you know, this is wrong. I would write like this is underscore multiple command that is okay this is wrong whatever i have written earlier is wrong what about that other option dot uh, you know okay here we have options command guys okay this is also wrong options okay these are the commands actually okay to find out whether uh the drop down field is uh capable of a uh, you see drop down field we can select how many options if you are able to select only one option in the drop down field that field, uh, for that field, if you're applying is multiple, it will return false, okay? For multi-selection box field, <laughs> is multiple will return true. For this drop-down field where you can only select one option, it will return, is multiple will return what, guys? True or false? Is multiple will return false in this case because in the, okay, in the Drop down field, you can only select one option. How can it select multiple options? So, is multiple will return false. Okay. Let's see whether the false uh, option, uh, false is getting printed in the output console or not. Okay. We are printing this output of this is multiple. So, it has written false and false should be printed in the output console now. In the next session, guys, in the next session, when I'm going to show you how to handle multi selection box field, we'll apply the same command again. Okay. The script has run and let's go to this output and see. You see, none got printed here. Why none got printed? Okay. I think this is not a command, I guess, he is uh -huh. multiple should return what instance attribute is multiple of, uh, you know, select is multiple bool, bool is equal to multi, multi not equal to false or something is coming, but why it's not giving me an option here. Let me run it again. Let it run. Load and see. Let's go here. What option is coming here? None is coming. Let me check once. So guys, uh, this is multiple will not return you something like uh, true or false here. Rather, you can use with the if statement, guys. Okay, it's going to work. Okay, we cannot print it out, but uh, rather we can use it like that. in the if selection statements. We can use that instead of writing in printing it out and printing, you know. True or false here, you can write something like this. Select dot is underscore multiple. Put a colon here. Now print it out. If if it is returning true here, if the if selection statement, this condition will become true, means uh, this statement will be executed. So if it is true, means it is a multi-selection box field, right? It's not a drop-down field. Okay, it's a multi-selection box field where you can select multiple options. If it is uh, if this is multiple attribute is returning false, this will become false, and you know, else block will be executed where I'll be printing. It is a drop down field, okay? Drop down field. I'll be. So, why we have to use these multiple to find out whether the given web element, okay, to the select select uh, select class, uh, we can pass either a drop down field or a multi selection box field, guys, okay? To check whether whatever the web element that is passed to is a multi selection box field or a drop down field, we can use these multiple to find it out, okay? So, now if I'm using these multiple when drop down field is being passed, so it is going to return false and this condition will become false. And because of that, else block will be executed and drop down field will be printed in the output console. Let's run this and see whether drop down field is being printed in the, uh, you know, output or not. If drop down field is printed, means is multiple has written false to this if selection statement. But you cannot directly print select dot is, is multiple there. Okay. 
That's the problem. It will print none in that case, as we have already seen. Okay. So just go here and see. You see, drop down field got printed, guys. You see, when you print a is multiple, it's not not required to print a is multiple, guys. So I directly use is multiple like this in the condition expression of this if selection statement. Okay, that's how we have to use is multiple. Now the next command we have is uh, you know options command. Options command using which we can retrieve all the options, guys. Okay. From, from this drop down field, whatever the options are there, you see what options are there in this drop down field, older newsletters, doc1, doc2, doc3, doc4, each and every option in this drop down field, I want to retrieve and print in the output console. How to do that? Here, I'll simply say, I'll remove this code, guys, and uh, I'll simply say, okay, options, select dot, select dot, options. This will return you the list of options, guys, okay? It will return you the list of options. I'll simply say, options is equal to, Okay, options, drop down options or whatever you want to call. Okay, uh, drop down, drop down options. You can give a different name, no problem. Drop down options. Now you can write a uh, for loop. Okay, for option in or for O in, for E in, anything you can write. For option in, drop down options is a list of options will be there. This is nothing but a list, guys. Okay, so that's why I'm using for in loop in the Selenium Python here. Python. So here, I'll simply say print of option. If I say option means it will print what web element it will print. It will not print the text. Okay. So how, you see each and every option here. If I inspect this uh, each and every option here, right? If I inspect that and you'll get this HTML code here and you see in this drop down we have all these options. Web elements will be printed. If you want to get the text between these options, I have to simply say option dot text. I should not be saying option. I should be saying option dot text. It will retrieve the text between these options tags okay, of the option. For each and every option, it will retrieve the text of that particular option, text between the tags of that option. For the first option, it will retrieve older newsletter. For second option, the text between the tags is doc1. Third option, third option, doc2, doc3, doc4, like that, it will retrieve and print in the output console. Now run this code. Observe that all the options will be printed now one by one in the output. So options command or options attribute in Selenium Python will retrieve all the options in the drop down field in the form of web elements. And we have to retrieve them one by one and uh, retrieve the text between the racks of the options. So just go here and see, you see all the options got printed in the output console. That is older newsletters, doc1, doc2, doc3, doc4. Fine. Now the next command I'm going to show you is first selected option command. Okay, first selected option command. So this will select the option that is uh, currently selected in the drop down field. Okay, remove this part. Let me remove all this stuff and, you know, using this object reference, I want to select one option in the drop down field, select dot, select by visible text. I would like to select which option, doc3 option in the drop down field, okay? So time dot sleep, two seconds, let's say. And then here, I want to uh, retrieve the current selected option in the drop down field. For that, which command I have to use? Select dot, select dot, which command? First selected option command. This will return you the web element of the option, okay? In the form of web element, it will return the current selected option, guys. I have to say dot text here, okay? Dot text, I have to say, I have to print it out, guys, okay? I have to print it out. It will retrieve the current selected option, that is a doc3 option. Here, doc3 option is selected. That doc3 will be printed in the output console. After that, I'll quit the browser, guys, okay? So that we can see the output automatically. Right click on this. Let's wait. So the option that is currently selected in the drop down field will be printed with the help of this first selected. It will be retrieved with the help of first select option. Okay, it will select the doc3 option. Yeah, doc3 option got selected here. You see, it has retrieved and printed doc3. Current selected option got printed with the help of first selected option command. So this is how we have to use these different commands uh, of Selenium Python for handling the HTML drop-down fields, guys. The different commands we have are select by visible text, select by index, select by value, is multiple attribute, options attribute, and first selected option attribute. So I practically demonstrated all these commands for you in this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.